Hello everybody, it's Linda and I'm back to share another design team project for Wild Good Crafts with you. I have created this fun album box thing. Um, I am not sure if this is my idea or if I have seen it somewhere else. So please, if you know that you have made this before or you know somebody who has, please let me know so that I can link to them. Uh, but I am going to show you a tutorial on how to create this because I'm just so happy with how it turned out and it was so much fun to create and it's really quick and easy and uh, the only thing you need is some uh, duct tape, some washi tape, some chipboard and some nice pattern paper to to get this the way that this looks. So um, first let me show you I have uh, decorated the cover of this. This can stand like so or you can just keep it like on your table sitting on your table just put some feet underneath here like half pearls or something here and it will sit nicely on your table as well or you can keep it this way if you, that's what you want so um on the cover i used some flatback pearls i used a paper doily from wallaby crafts and i'm popping the 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 item numbers on screen and all the links to the products in the description box below. I used uh, one trellis rose here in the center, some cottage roses here and here. I used some beautiful lilies there. Some of my favorite hip rose buds here, three of them here. I've got three of them up here and three of them here and some white leaves and these are just some uh, die cuts from the paper collection and the paper collection i use for this is kaiser craft and it's called true romance so um and uh let's see this heart i just covered in paper from the collection and it is uh just a metal piece and I have a, a cutout from this gorgeous lace that I got from my friend Annie, Miss Garden Grove here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Annie. And uh, I put this button here and some twine. And uh, to close this, because um, this flap here opens, I just put a magnet behind the doily here and a magnet behind this heart and this holds it. So let's open and let me show you what I think is so fun about this. So it opens like this and then like this and it has a mini album inside. So when you decorate your album, just remember don't put too much bulk because you want it to close nicely and not like be an alligator gap mouth thingy. So, uh, but the beautiful flowers from Wild Good Crafts, uh, that are let me show you uh, these flowers they're called bloom set and you get them in a variety of colors unfortunately these are the only colors I have and they don't go with this album uh, but I am getting some in pinks and I'll be adding some flowers here and there throughout this album and the mini album is actually what's holding this closed in the first place i thought that i needed like loads of magnets here to hold this and down here but it turned out that i didn't need those magnets so i have actually in my tutorial ad ad added magnets here and here here and here here and here and there and there to use these like filigrees to hold um hold it closed but there is no need for that the only place where you need a magnet is under here and here to hold the lid closed and then one here to hold this um, so then let's open and like this like i said i use the true um what do you think the true romance stack i have made a photo mat here and this is a doily punch from martha stewart and this is part of the what do you call them collectibles i think 
let's see this paper stack comes with yeah they they call them collectibles they are like die cuts from the the paper line and it's just beautiful it's got a lot of little birds and doilies and butterflies and lots of stuff to decorate your album with and when i have decided who is getting this i will put like a frame here uh, just a die cut frame and uh, because nothing thick because that will just add bulk and it will not close properly so i'll add a frame with a photo or a message and um, this is the first page all the pages on this side has got tags or pockets that open here i have made the pages out of envelopes and this is also a martha stewart punch and i added that because then the um, the pages would hold because this is made like a gatefold so it opens like this right and my pages were envelopes and my envelopes were not so wide so i had room for this the only thing you need to do is make sure that you don't make your pages too wide to close your album so here is another tag this is just a baroque die from tim holtz i have edged all my papers using the Let's see, Victorian Velvet, Distress Ink. And this bird is from the, the die cuts. And this I just cut out from the paper and made this pocket. And here is just a large photo mat and here's a photo mat. So um, here are the tags that I made for this. Oh, and of course I can now see that I have forgot to cover this. I always cover these, um, the back of my magnets if I can remember so that's how my tags work they just slide it back in here and they're held close with the magnet so there's a magnet here and there's a magnet underneath this paper here so here is another pocket I just put this in to show you and uh, in these pages there are also pockets but here they are on the side so I have photo mats in each of these two. And here I did a little bit extra. I just used the Baroque die to trace and here is the photo mat for this. And here you can see I have actually remembered to cover my magnet. <laughs> so that's helped with the magnet underneath this paper. Another photo mat, another tag that you pull out. And here is a pocket so that you can just slide something in here. And I put another photo mat behind here. I think they're so decorative when they're like this. They make the pages look like envelopes that they actually are. So, <laughs> and uh, just some buttons and some lace and some twine. And here you have room to put a photo or a nice message or whatever you want. Just remember to keep it uh, sort of flat so that your album will close properly. I have a quarter of an inch gap between my pages. So that adds a little room. So I have popped these up, for example, and, and that's no problem. The buttons are no problem as long as you make it so that they don't catch onto each other like so. So and then it just closes. And as you can see, it's held closed really nice and that's my album and i am planning to do uh, another one in another shape and as you can see you can so easily make these into like a nice little handbag this way or this way and just you know you can put the the flap to close here and you can have your pages attached to these ends here so that's not a problem so I think this is such a fun way to create an album and a box at the same time. And that means that you can, you know, display your album very easily and have it accessible. And also you can decorate the outside with something matching your interior. So you don't necessarily have to, you know, make uh, if you're making a sugar sweet album for a girl and that the colors just wouldn't fit in your living room then just make the outside the colors that fit and i can see myself making this into a book you know then you just extend this cover and you extend the bottom cover and you have 
like your book cover here and then you just open your book that way so there are so many possibilities i'm also going to make this into a house and uh, it will be like standing up and that will be so cute <laughs> so yeah i have like a tons of ton of ideas and like i said a handbag oh you can really really play with this so i really hope you give it a try and that you follow my tutorial if you need it please let me know what you think of my tutorial and of my album and uh, if um, you decide to share uh, a project that you make inspired by this i would so so love to see it so i wish you all a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon Bye-bye.